Hello my creative peeps and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today is the long awaited D slash lots. Now I'm not doing a timed release for this. If you see this video up and then everything is in the Etsy shop and if it's not in the Etsy shop then it's sold. So there's lots to cover but a few quick things before we get started. I did have to do the shipping included with the price on the flat rate mailer lots. So you will notice that there are some flat rate mailer lots that um, are higher priced with, they say, free shipping. So those, unfortunately, I can only ship to the U.S. because it would be something I just like $50 to ship it to you internationally. Um, and it, the stuff in the boxes is not worth that. The items that I'm selling separately, which you'll see more towards the end of the video, can be shipped internationally and they are listed separately and shipping is, char shipping is charged separately. You don't have to do anything um, with this, you just have to go over to Etsy and it'll tell you um, everything you need to know, but I did want to let you know that. I will put uh, prices down in the description box so it's easy for you. If you see something you like, you can go down there and quickly know if um, it's U.S. or international and whether shipping is included or shipping is not included. So hopefully it's not too confusing. Um, if you have any questions about any of the things in this box, I mean in this lot, just shoot me a message and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you buy a flat rate box and then you buy a single item and I can fit it in the flat rate box, I will do that and refund you the shipping of the single item. That will be on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, you can always email me in advance and we'll see what we can do. So without further ado, let's just get into the lots. But, so this is kind of a beginner dabbler box into the world of NYX Media. So um, we have all kinds of stuff in here. I'm just gonna pull it all out and we're gonna go, we're gonna go through it. Okay, so this is the beginner lot. You have quite a substantial amount of washi tape to get you started. There's a 12 set of ink tense blocks by Durant. Uh, these are really cool. They're actually ink in a block form, so they act like watercolor, but once they dry, they're permanent. So they're really cool. There is a bunch of Sharpie paint pens in various colors and nib sizes. There's an entire set of these Uniball Signo. These are the .38, so they're super fine point. There's a set of 24 colored pencils, and it comes with this case. These are the Faber-Castell Color Grip pencils. They're really nice. I used them a tiny bit. They may have been sharpened like once, um, but I have other pencils that I like, so I'm passing these on. There is a various assortment of paints. So we have some craft paint. There's pink, this mint color, uh, rich espresso, so it's like a metallic -y brown, and then this gold color. There are three Tim Holtz Distress paints. This one's not even open yet. This is mowed lawn. There's peacock feathers and a broken china. This is a tube of the Jane Davenport acrylic paint. Um, so if you wondered how that behaves, there's a tube of that. You can try that out. And then there are one, two, three, seven tubes of Liquitex Basics in various shades. This is silver, so there's teal, yellow, purple, orange, green, and blue. And all of these paints have different um, properties and different uses and different finishes. Um, so this is a really good box if you have no idea what you like and you just want to try a bunch of things. Um, you can do that. And then last but not least, there's a water brush in here. Oops. 
So you just put water in it like a paintbrush. And then there is a very lightly used uh, watercolor set. This is the watercolor set that's super popular with like letters and stuff last year. It is a little chalky. Not a little. It is chalky, but if you just want to play around with how watercolors behave or the chalkiness doesn't bother you or whatever, there you go. So that is the dabbler mixed media beginner art journaler box. And of course when I mail these things to you, um, all the paint and everything will be in plastic. So in case anything explodes, it won't ruin everything else in the box. But just for showing you right now, sake, that's how we had that. And we have this lot here. This is 50 rolls of washi tape. Um, they are various color palettes, various patterns, various widths, various amounts. <laughs> some have never been touched and some have been used. There's might be a few duplicates in here as I weeded out my stash and uh, my aunt weeded out hers as well. But if you're just looking to get a, for some reason you want a ton of washi, um, then this, this is your bundle. So like I said, there's 50, 50 rolls in here. Plenty to share with a friend or five. This lot is a bunch of stamp sets and some ink. Uh, most of them have been used before, but some of them have never been touched. Some of them are planner stickers. I mean stamps, some of them are journaling stamps. There's quite a mix here. This is a brand new set. This is my favorite set of the archival mini inks. When I ordered it, they gave me two. I don't know why. Um, so there's that. Let me just count how many stamp sets are in here. There are 17 full sets of clear stamps and then just an assortment of rubber, um, unmounted or clear rubber or mounted stamps. So... There's also included one acrylic block. This is like an awesome texture stamp. So I'm just gonna go through these super fast. There's a letter stamp set. There's butterflies, feathers, this office supply one with like a tag and a clip. Uh, this is a Coco Daisy one. This is a, oh gosh, what is this? I can't remember her name. Random one, some more random ones. This is like months and day numbers. Another Coco Daisy one, this is Simon. There's this planner one. I love this set, but I never use it and I feel so bad, so. There's this Icon stamp set. There's the Jean Davenport acrylic face stamp set. Another Coco Daisy one with numbers. Another planner one. This is a no spend one from Studio L2E. And then more of that designer that I can't remember the name of at the moment. So that is the lot of stamps. Next, we have another big box. This is for the person who loves mixed media and altering stuff. This is just a mishmash of all sorts of things that you can use in mixed media, that you can make a project out of, that you can alter, that you can use to alter things. Okay, so what do we have in this box? We have a bunch of really cool chipboard tags that you could alter. There is this cool wire ribbon. There's this sticky glitter ribbon. There's drywall tape, which is amazing for texture. I'm not quite sure what this is called, but there's a bunch of this in there. 
some really cool shiny duct tape, clips to hold your journal open, foam stamps. This is a craft scubby by Ranger. They work super well. If you get like stuff on your hands, you can use it like an exfoliator to get stuff off and it doesn't make your hands all raw. There is this box of like dominoes and little Japanese, I don't know what these are, little vials, stuff you can alter. This is a pad of like resist paper so you can't really see it but there's a design on there so when you put watercolor on it the design will pop up. There's a bunch of detail paintbrushes. Some are, have been lightly used, other ones never used at all. There is a sketchbook in here. This is by Handbook Company. It's a drawing book, 128 acid-free pages. I used about three of them, so I took them out. The rest is all blank for you, and I have gessoed the cover. So you can to turn that into whatever you want. 100 blank index cards to alter, a couple flares, some patches, a wooden ruler, some burlap pockets, a set of chipboard ATCs, 3D foam dots, more 3D foam dots in a bigger size, a Higgins Black Magic uh, waterproof ink, there is a Derwent uh, charcoal stick with a kneaded eraser and a regular eraser. There is Aliens Tech It Over and Over. You can use it for temporary fabric bond, but people um, were using these several years ago to make their own glue dots with like um, wax paper. Two never before used Marabou R crayons. A Jane Davenport fountain pen with some ink cartridges and it does have the um, cartridge converter included inside. Some Sharpies. These are elegant writers, so if you put, they're black calligraphy pens, but if you put water on them, they turn like this purple color. A Recollections opaque aqua marker. Some blue sparkly paint. One of those pencil pouches that goes over your notebook. So it has a zip in here. And then... It has a zip here. And last but not least, this is really cool. I don't know if it would work with anything else, but this is a Dilutions ink spray pad. So you create your own custom foam ink. Uh, so it's a white pad and you add your own ink to it. So that is the mixed media craze box. Next, we have a box of papers and punches. So in here, there's various punches. So we have like a, cor a big corner rounder, a star, a smaller star, so a big pad of partially used paper, a barely used Jane Davenport paper pad, Oh gosh, just all kinds of miscellaneous papers that you could use. It's really just a giant mixed bag of everything. There's some doilies. Doilies, uh, note cards, origami paper, and there's a couple... Um, like a Primo Marketing 6x6 pad and stuff like that. So that is the paper box. 
Sticking along the lines of paper, I have a smash book lot. I know these are coming back and people are looking for them and can't find them. So in here is, um, there aren't any actual books, but this is a bunch of smash booking paper. So this is like the three ring binder style. It's an entire black and white set. There are various pockets that go along with things like that, that you can kind of clip in and use. There are wedge pockets. There's this really cool pocket. More wedge pockets. There's another ring set that was meant to be a planner. So there's each, um, like each thing of the, each calendar of the month, like that and various other pages. So if you wanted to do some type of like memory keeping, that could be cool. And they fit a standard three ring binder. And then this, um, and this here, I used a couple pages out of it. So I just ripped those out, but it is on the rings. It doesn't have a cover, but I'm sure you could totally alter one. And it's just, it's a smash book. So that is the smash book lot. Then I have kind of a, one of those um, starter boxes, but a more advanced version. So this has quite a lot in it. This is two sets of Derwent Inktense pencils. It's a 12 set of the regular colors and then a 12 set of the metallic colors. There is a Jane Davenport pencil pouch. Again, it's one of those where you put the band over your journal and it holds in there for you. There is a set of Jane Davenport paint over pens, barely used. There is a Nemesine Singularity Aqua Demonstrator fountain pen in a .6 italic nib. So of course it comes with the cartridge converter. Great pen. Comes with a bunch of black cartridges. A bottle of Noodler's black ink. Three ink samples. Lemmy Black, Dimey Night Sky, which is a shimmering ink that I love. And Robert Oster Grape. So it's a purple ink. There's this really cool shimmer mermaid paint. Somehow I ended up with two of the exact same one. So there's a little tin to put like a travel watercolor palette set in. There are a couple um, alphabet stencils. And then there is the entire set of premium watercolor tubes from Arteza. I did fill a half pan uh, with each two, but there's still plenty of watercolor in there. So that is your, your more advanced starter box, I guess you could say. I have a, another uh, kind of paper themed box lot. Um, this one contains a flow book that has had some stuff taking out of it, but there's still a bunch of papers and stuff in there. There is a whole bag of um, stickers. There's Amy Tangerine letter stickers. There's glitter letter stickers. There's some planner stickers, just all kinds of miscellaneous stickers in here for you to use. I went through and de-stashed all of my paper scraps. So this is like a paper scrap lot. So there's fabric paper scraps. I mean, sorry, there's scrap of paper, paper fabric scraps. There's smaller mixed media scraps. There's mixed media tissue paper, napkins, swatch cards, you name it. A ton of magazine clippings. Some fabric and trim scraps. 
and some four by four, I mean, six by six um, papers in there. So we'll just run through the miscellaneous stuff real quick. I'll be selling these individually. So there's a Peerless watercolor set. Um, I did, of course, cut some card off of it, but um, it's a full pack of 15. This is a Jane Davenport empty watercolor tin. So there's no watercolors in here, but it's an awesome gold tin. You could just stick a sticker over the Jane Davenport um, tin, I mean logo. Book lovers never go to bed alone. Little pouch, and it's got that coating on the inside, so if you spill anything in it, you can wipe it out. There are two really cool inserts. These are like travel inserts. I wanted to do something with these, but I just never got around to it. So you have like a blank lined page, and then you have a pocket with a giant tag in it. And it just goes on like that through the whole book. So if you went on a little like week-long trip or something, then all you need is this insert and your ephemera and you're good to go. So those come together. Then I have a book, The Creative License by Danny Gregory. I have a Moonology Diary from two, for 2019. Um, I did use a few pages. I used the very first page for December and I did highlight some of the things in it and I filled out the releasing your past worksheet but the rest of it is all blank. Um, basically, it's like a astrology planner, so each new moon, it tells you some information, and then it has all this astrological information, but you have to do a lot of background research. Um, like, if you don't know a lot about astrology, and you want a little jump start, and then to do your own research, then this is good for you, but I don't know enough to make this useful, and I don't have the time to invest in, um looking all those things up. So the next thing I have is two back issues of High Fructose Magazine. So if you can't find these, these are fully intact. Um, this is a magazine that I love taking stuff out of. I bought two copies because I thought I was going to cut one up and then use one as like a table book, but I never have a coffee table to put the table book on. So... There's just super cool imagery, really cool artists that you can find, super quirky. And then this, you may remember this, I made this junk journal using a kit that the lovely Deb sent me um, as like a, to make a kit for, to make a journal from the kit to show people. Um, and this is a journal that I made and I've never ever used it. Um, so I'm selling it. It doesn't have any of my special papers in it, but it is um, all ready to journal in. I made all the ephemera and the bits and the bobs, and I sewed it all together. Um, it is possible that um, some of the adhesive may have let go a little bit, but nothing that isn't too easy to fix. I'll leave linked in a card the video where I put this together if you'd like to see it. But yeah. So there's that. And then this is just extra stuff. So there's some word stickers, some scraps, some tags, and another pocket here. So we'll call this like a vintage Leon insert or whatever. <laughs> Okay, wow, that was a lot. Um, thank you for spending your time with me today. I hope that maybe you found something interesting that you'd like to either buy from a D-Stash lot or maybe you just want to go hunt for it yourself and check it out. Um, my Etsy shop will be in the description if you'd like to see any of these. This D-Stash lots will only be available until the end of February. Once the end of February hits, anything that's still left in the shop will just get donated 
So if you do want something, make sure you purchase it before the end of February. I hope to stock lots of things in my Etsy shop this month, but I really needed to clear these out in order to do that. So I can't wait to share what I'll have in stock for the rest of the month. I will see you guys on Saturday for your usual video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my future content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.